Hey everybody, welcome to the shack. I'm Rick. No, this is not the shack. I'm still in Orange County working on my rental. I've been here two weeks and today is the last day. It's been a real headache. A lot of, a lot of upgrading. Codes change every year so I have to update and keep in compliance with code for my rentals. Um, and one thing I'm going to do is a little bit of a tool review because Last year, <laughs> I should have, but I just didn't get around to doing it. I need to put some straps around this water heater, uh, earthquake straps, you know, part of being compliant. But I did put a wrap around it this time, so it stays warmer without using as much gas, keep reheating, it will stay nice, but it is inside, so that, that helps. Um, but one of the things is the earthquake strap, I need to secure them into the studs. And unfortunately, my stud finder is on its last leg. I had this old Craftsman stud finder for the better part of 10 to 15 years, a very long time. And the battery doesn't stay closed anymore the lid here the button when I do use it I have to push multiple times I'm not there for it to finally catch and work still works but it's just getting more out so Right there, hopefully, is my stud. So I decided to go ahead and break away and about retire this. And I bought a new stud finder. I bought this. This is a Zircon Multi Scanner HD 800. Uh, the HD 900 is the top of the line. This is the next step down only because the 900 will also detect a live wire. I don't need that capability. I'm not doing much electrical. Most of what I do is just updating or modifications. Uh, if I have to do a lot of electrical, I will actually have an electrician friend help me. But for the most part, I don't need that. But I want you to see. <laughs> Look at the difference. This sucker is monstrous. But it does come with a few features that I like and that's why I went this one. It can detect metal so it can do the uh, metal studs. Um, it will detect piping behind the drywall along with the studs. And uh, it will detect if there's a wire behind there but not a live wire. The 900 will actually detect if that wire is live or not. So I didn't need to go that route, didn't need to go that much. So, but I just can't get over, that sucker is big compared to my old one. But I guess because, oh, I'm gonna drop that. Because of the uh, added features and the capability of finding multiple things versus just a stud, that's probably why it's a little bit bigger. But it also supposedly will give me the dead center of the stud, which before I'd have to go as the lights would go up to us in the stud, I'd have to see where it started, where it went off, and that kind of went between that, and that was my center. So I really couldn't tell. So I'm curious to see just how well this does. So I've already opened it, got it out, and I'm going to, I have a, 10 year battery to put in there so that way I don't have to replace it too often. The old craftsman is being retired. Let me turn my light on here. Now I can see. Uh, plus or minus. Takes a 9 volt battery and it does have inside here which way you're supposed to put it for plus and minus. It doesn't have like the old side put a little cap you snap on here. This will actually tell you which way you have to lay it in or plus or minus. So you look on here, see which side is plus, which is minus. So I'll put the plus in that way. Snap it in. 
There we go. On the handle, you can see that good nut. Right here, it has a switch. This side is for deep scan and stud scan. This side is for metal scan. So if I wanted to click it over there for metal, I would switch it on that side, which we'll, we're going to try it and let's see if it'll find the piping. Because I'm in the washroom, so there is plumbing behind her, and I, we'll see if it'll find it. And it'll do deep scan and it does stud scan, so we're going to do that. But let's peel off this temporary thing here. There. And we'll see how it works. I'm just going to see if you'll if they'll see that. And see down at the bottom it says stud scan. So that's cool. I love this, the fact that it's got a backlit screen here. That is nice. If you remember on my Craftsman, it was showing the stud be right around this area. So we're going to see if this one is just as accurate. Now I have it on deep scan stud scan. I'm going to go off over here. I'm going to turn it on and let it calibrate. Keep it flush. Don't push hard. And slowly. Emphasizes slowly so you can't go quick back and forth. You got to take it slow and let it scan. Always calibrate to make sure it gets the center of the stud. So let's see how it works. Now it's got an electrical line flashing which is correct because on the opposite side of the wall is the bathroom and there's a light switch just below here. So cool, it's detecting a wire behind there. Yeah, yeah. So let's move it over and see if it finds the stud. Now the light went off, oh, it's blinking, so I'm moving away from the wire. Oh, edge is showing that the Stud is right here. It's on the edge. This is the edge of the stud. So as I go over here, it should be getting closer. This side will let it light up until I get to the center. Right there's the center. How cool is that? And it's got three bars on both sides. So I'm going to bring you back up a little bit closer. I'm going to do that again. I want you to see this is this is neat. I like this. All right, hopefully you can see it a little bit better this time. Remember, around here it should light up and have that little electrical sign flashing because there is an electrical line behind here. There it is. See it? Electrical. There is a wire behind it. Like I said, on the opposite side of this wall, there is a light switch. So perfect. Now I know there's a wire behind there. That's good to know. As we take it over slowly, Remember, right around here should be the stud. Oh, see, that detected the edge. This is the edge on this side. Right here, over, that's the stud. There it is, dead center. Nice! I think I'll start about here and we'll go both sides and just see what it picks up. I'm going to switch it over to metal scan. I'm going to go this way and see if it picks up the plumbing. So we're going to go here. Metal and electrical. It's catching metal and electrical on both sides. So let's take the metal on this side. There. I'm getting metal there so it's probably plumbing. And there's my other plumbing. So I got metal there and there. Yeah. Now it's not flashing no more, so I am right over the electrical. So I'm going to switch to stud, get it in the middle here again, and we'll see. Because there should be a stud on one side of this or the other. There it is. 
Okay. Perfect. So it does. It does exactly what it says it would do. It's just pretty good size, massive. But there it is. Everything you needed in a stud finder does metal. It'll find piping and it shows you where the wire's at. That is excellent. Quick and easy, but I tell you, I, this is really impressive. I like this. Again, old, new. Look at the size difference. The only reason I'm getting rid of this is because it doesn't detect as good anymore. The button's getting worn out. And my battery cover just doesn't stay on it <laughs> anymore. So, I am impressed with this. This is nice. Shows you where the electrical's at. Shows the studs, shows the piping. And, and the bars on both sides will tell you where the edge is. And as you scan over the stud, it beeps right when you get to that dead center and you got bars on both sides so you know exactly where the center is. Which is good for my case because I need dead center to put the earthquake straps on I have to go in this stud. I want it in dead center of that stud. I can find my stud now. That's a huge benefit. So quick little tool review on a stud finder. Zircon HD 800. Thanks for watching. Be blessed. Get out there. Take back your shack. I'm going home after the day. So I'll be back in my shack. Putting all these videos up. And I apologize for the long delay. But I was two weeks down here. So it's probably been just about a month before I've gotten any videos up. I think that's it so I'm done here at the rental get this done I'm out of here I leave in the morning see you guys back at the shack thanks again thanks for watching subscribe follow me I'll keep you updated on all the videos coming up and we'll see you in the next video